kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Breezy day in Southwest Florida. Hopefully you're having a good day. I've been working on this 2003. It's a Murray Select and it has the 17.5 force engine, 42 inch deck. The uh, 17.5 IC industrial commercial. So this thing came in from a buddy of mine. I had resurrected a Husqvarna machine. This thing had blown a head gasket and I ended up messing with this. So let's discuss head gasket. I'm going to give you torque sequence, torque pounds, and the gasket kit you can buy for this. So where can we start? I'll show you the head gasket that came off of it. It's going to look something like this, flat, flat edge here to the bottom. This is how it's going to look on the engine. So it kind of blew it out here on the back side. You can see that. So that's that. Let's talk about the um, gasket kit you can buy. There's a number, gasket number here from Briggs, 794152. What you get is um, some exhaust gaskets. You get the valve cover gasket, which is nice. And you also get a valve seal in the kit. So there's two different style gaskets, head gaskets they give you. I only used uh, one. There's another one here for a different style engine. Let me try to get organized. So I ended up buying these two, two kits. So you're going to have one that looks like this. And there's the flat edge here on the diagonal. This is the uh, one we use for this 17 and a half. This might be for a larger size engine. So maybe save this for future use. But you're going to end up using all the other stuff here that they give you, which is nice. They make it convenient. So this kit is uh, like 11 or 12 on the Big Jungle Company. I got this out of AliExpress a while back. And uh, it was cheaper, like six, seven bucks a kit. So I ordered a couple of kits. It just takes four weeks to get here. I'm never in a rush. You can actually get this kit. I think Napa has it. If there's a Napa store near you, most likely I've gone in for parts like this and they got to order them anyway. They don't have them on the, the shelf. So let's talk about the head gasket sequence tightening sequence so what I've done I've marked each one of these holes corresponding to where you start so I kind of drew a straight edge down here this is the bottom this is looking straight on to the head <clears throat> like that Here's your top. You'll have three at the top and then two here that you can access right behind the exhaust pipe, <clears throat> which I've already started to reassemble. So what I have is just a 3 8 inch drive, half inch socket. So you're going to have... Um, your metric kilogram side and then the uh, foot pounds on this side. So what you're going to do is you're going to see 5, 10, 15, 20. We're going to start it. Um, this is calls for 18 foot pounds final torque. So you, we're going to do it in um, three sequences, 6, 12, 18. So you would dial up 6, lock down your torque wrench, do the sequence, one, two, blah, 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 blah. I'll show you that in a minute. When that's done, 
loosen, you lock down, then you're going to go up to 12, turn it up to 12, lock it down, do that all over again. Loosen up your lock, go up to 18, lock it down again, and then do it the last time. So when you're done with your torque, loosen up your lock and then bring all your tension off of there. Don't store this with the tension on the spring. It should be dead. <clears throat> okay, back to the sequencing. So you're going to start in the, the middle bottom. goes one, two is right above it, three this corner, four up to this corner, five is here, and then jump up to six, very corner, seven down to this corner, and then eight. So you do this in eight, uh, three sequences, six, twelve, and your final is eighteen. Here's your kit number. So basically, you've got a straight line here, three on the bottom, three at the top, and then the two oddball ones behind the exhaust pipe. So when I ordered this stuff from AliExpress, I um, thought, well, I'll, I'll do the valves, lap the valves. I haven't lapped valves since uh, high school. So you can buy pace, you got a coarse pace, fine pace, and then the suction, suction cups. So I did that here, started out with coarse, did exhaust intake, cleaned it all up nice, and then went to fine, cleaned it all up, put it back together, and that's where we are. So exhaust's going to go on now. I just put the plastic cover on what else can we discuss i think that's pretty much on the deal here so if you go on and and, and research the um, head gasket if you just buy it alone they're nearly 10 bucks just do yourself a favor and get the whole kit for 10 bucks you'll really appreciate having new exhaust gaskets and your valve cover gasket is nice to change out so since i used this kit i got another kit for the another engine that just came in it's a murray select with a 13.5 i did a video on that when you guys helped me out you said the uh head gaskets mostly uh most likely blown on that one so i'm gonna have to use this kit so i got some more coming from aliexpress if you use aliexpress i recommend paypal use that as your payment source um, i bought some stuff from sellers and it hadn't arrived so it's it's good to have uh, paypal as your a payment source you can complain to them but aliexpress always took care of it on their own if i didn't get the product aliexpress initiated the refund right away i never really had to go to paypal and complain so i hopefully that helps you out i'm gonna send you guys home i'm gonna keep working here 794 152 for the kit 18 foot pounds is your final torque pressure 6 12 18 make three passes one two right above three this corner four this corner five is here back up on top six back to this corner seven and then finish it out with Eight, the one in this middle sequence. Okay, that's all. Looks like I'm going to be the head gasket king once I shift over to that Murray Select and do that one. I'm going to first check um, what the compression is. 
I figured this I've had for a while. I want to blow this out. I've got um, a couple of riders now. I want to start getting those ready. They're starting to back up. I don't want them backing up. Now's the time to dump them, so i got to keep plowing ahead. I tried to rectify this front tire with a little roofing cement. It went flat. It's probably been a month or more. This this one went down in pressure, but it's still holding air. I may do the ATF trick for this one. I found that worked on another rider. This one's going to take a tube. I bought a couple of um, different style tubes that have the curved the curve Schrader valve instead of the straight valve. So I'm going to throw one of those in that tire. You guys have a good day. Tip your waitress and wait staff. Thanks for coming out. Adios, amigos. I can give you a uh, engine number since I'm here in case you guys have one of these turds. 31 Charlie 70 017 five echo one and this machine was built 11th month fifth day of um, 2003 the uh, production sticker back there on the murray sticker says it was the uh, frame was put together 12th month 29th day so they had the engine built a month prior to the um frame assembly okay see you guys winds blowing like hell adios